Hey there friends. I'm gonna do a little bit of a rant video, which I generally don't like to do, but it is not aimed at one person in particular. It is aimed at um, packaging and shipping in general. So I have a job today. I'm sitting in my car and waiting to get the phone call to let us know that we're allowed to go in. So I'm taking, taking the time to do a little bit of a video on this issue that I've had and I've been experiencing for a while with shipping issues. So, and I'm gonna stop right here too. If this is something that you guys have experienced yourselves, living out in the country or wherever, do me a favor, like this video, share it, comment on it, um, because this is a problem and I would say that this is a bigger problem than maybe uh, uh, some of the packaging and shipping companies realize. So I've got an order coming in today, something I had ordered like 18 months ago, right? Who would have known that this is coming through coronavirus and everything else, right? Coming in today, it's coming in through FedEx. But this is not just a FedEx issue. This is a UPS issue and this is a USPS issue and probably even DHL and whatever other shipping companies are out there. But FedEx in particular, because they are a little bit more strict with their um, protocols and that they have um, signature requirements. And I know UPS and, and USPS have that as well. Um, but the issue is from the receiving end, okay? So I'm receiving this package. I am working today. I cannot be home to sign for the package. I can't get the package actually to even be delivered to my house because my road is so uh, bad. The, the delivery vehicles are usually very low slung. Uh, they don't have four wheel drive and they're not gonna make it out to my house, okay? So I have options of being able to have this stuff delivered to a, 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 a neighbor's house. Um, he has been so kind as to do that, but he's not gonna be home either because he's working. He's one of those essential employees. So I am stuck with this crazy, you know, uh, Jenga of a workaround attempting to get the package that I ordered a long time ago that is requiring a signature that really probably doesn't even require a signature, but whatever, that's how the, the company sent it. My complaint, I guess, is this, is that there needs to be better delivery options, particularly from the person who is receiving it, all right? I get that the shipper, you know, they wanna have certain assurances, they wanna have, you know, know that the, the package was delivered, truly you picked it up and that kind of stuff. But there needs to be better communication between the people who you are ordering from and the people who are receiving the delivery. If there's a way, I don't know, to have preferences or that if a shipper requires a signature, they're going to say that, you know, that's like just their standard policy. They need to put that on their, on their websites and that information. And I know that's not FedEx's responsibility or whatever, but I have an account through FedEx and UPS or whatever to be able to manage my uh, shipping uh, policy or per, my shipping um, preferences. And I can't even get in there I mean, I got in there, right? My old address from where I, where I lived five years ago, I couldn't even get that to be removed because my current address is new and it is not a verified address, even though it is a verified address through the United States Post Office. But because nobody can physically get to my property, it is not a verified address. So it's I'm a dog chasing its tail and it's been like this for years, okay? I need to be able to have deliveries. And in the the coronavirus world, there's a lot of people who need to be able to get deliveries. This is how life is going on. We're doing stuff online. We're doing things through the mail. We're having things that are shipped. And if I can't be the only person, I cannot be the only person who is experiencing this, experiencing this challenge. There's got to be other rural folks. There's got to be other people who are out there that are experiencing shipping challenges. So if we're the receivers and I can say with pretty darn, you know, clear assurances that my neighbor is not going to steal my package. And if I have delivery uh, confirmations or whatever that, that tracking, I can watch my package getting closer and closer and closer. And when I know it's out for delivery 
And when it says ding delivered, I can zip out and I can go pick it up. I don't have four hours to be able to sit at my neighbor's house and just wait for the FedEx driver to show up. And I will tell you this, the FedEx drivers do not like that because they feel like they're about ready to get, you know, robbed or something. Um, I had had an issue a couple years ago with this and I ended up going around and around with the driver. She ended up being very kind and everything in the long run. But this is a challenge where we have rural folks who live down crappy roads and, and my county in Tennessee is potentially one of the worst roads in all of the state of Tennessee. We have some horrible, horrible maintained roads where I live. It's a poverty stricken community. Um, the, the county road department uh, does the best that they can with what they've got, but they need massive amounts of help. They really, really do. They need money. You can't build roads cheaply and they need funds. Um, so as a workaround, possibly for us to be able to live in these United States, how about we can have something where I can have some autonomy to be able to decide I'll electronically sign for my package, leave it at my neighbor's house because my neighbor is awesome or, you know, have some other kind of a situation where I can actually receive a package. I, I've heard of, of places and companies where they'll, they'll end up, um, having like lockers that you get your own key. I don't know if you have to pay a monthly fee for that or something like that, but you can get your packages and you can have them delivered in a, in a locked facility and it's fine. Can we work on this? This is 2020. Peace out y'all. Remember you are the gold. Thanks for watching. Remember like, and share it.